Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this IoT project, we will discuss how to control multiple ESP32 from a single Rainmaker dashboard. If you have multiple rooms and you have used separate ESP32 for each room to control all the appliances, then using this project, you can connect all the ESP32 to a single Rainmaker dashboard. Later on, you can also connect Google Home, Amazon Alexa to control all the appliances with Google Assistant and Alexa. For this project, I have used free plan so everything is free. You can make the circuit without any PCB or if you want, you can also use PCB to make the circuit compact. During the video, I have explained the circuit, source code and after watching the complete video, you can connect any Rainmaker project to a single dashboard and control it from anywhere in the world. Now before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. Here you can see this ESP32 connected with the room 1 appliances and this ESP32 connected with the room 2 appliances. First let me try to control the appliances from room 1. Now let me control the appliances from room 2. In this way you can control multiple ESP32 from a single Rainmaker dashboard. Now let me open the Google Assistant. Turn off all the device. Sure, turning eight switches off. Now let me open the Amazon Alexa and try to control the appliances from Amazon Alexa. Turn on kitchen plug. Okay, Alexa. Turn on room light. Okay. And we can also monitor the real-time feedback. Let me open the room light. Currently the room light is on. Let me turn it off. Now if I turn it on from the manual switch, the light turns on and we can monitor the real-time feedback. Now let me turn it off. Again we can monitor the real-time feedback on the Amazon Alexa. Now if there is no internet, still you can able to control the appliances either with the light switch or push button. Here you can see I can able to control the relays with push button or latch switch. So this is a very useful project so without any further delay let's get started. To make this project you need ESP32, relay module and latch switches or push button. Then connect all the components as per this circuit. In the circuit I have used active low relay module and you can either use latch switches or push button for manual control. Now to make the circuit compact I have designed this PCB and order it from the JLC PCB. With JLC PCB, you can order any type of PCB at very affordable price. For this project, I am going to use their PCB assembly service. So I will click here. Then upload the GAWA file. Select the quantity and color. Then turn on this radio button and select the side. Now upload the BOM file and pick and place file. Then you have to select the components which you want to be soldered by JLC PCB. Now click on save to cart and place the order. Now you will receive the PCB as per the delivery option you have selected. In my case I have received the PCBs within a week and you can see the quality is very premium in this affordable price. And here you can see they provide all the services related to PCBs. For more details please visit their website link is in description. In this video for the demonstration, I will connect two ESP32 with the same Rainmaker account. But if you are using their free plan, you can connect up to five ESP32 or node with the same Rainmaker account to control different appliances. But I will not recommend you to connect sensor with the ESP32 because the sensor will continuously send data to Rainmaker server which will exhaust your free limit under the free plan. In future, they may change their free plan policy, so please check their website for future updates. These are the source code for the ESP32. You can download the codes from our website itcircuithub.com. Just visit the article, you can find the link in the description. Then you can download the codes from this button. Now I will use this code for the kitchen and this code for the living room. Let me open both the code with Arduino IDE. Here I am going to use this case to control the kitchen appliances and I will use this case to control the living room appliances. Both sketches are same. You can use any other Rainmaker project source code but in each sketch you have to update three things so that the Rainmaker app can identify each ESP32 individually. 
Before that, let me tell you, I am going to use this version of the ESP32 for the Rainmaker project. Just go to board manager, search for ESP32 and then select this version 2.0.3. Then install this version. Then install all the required libraries according to your project. After that, as I said, you have to update three things for each ESP32. So first you have to update the service name. This service name will act as a provisioning SSID while you set up the ESP32 using Rainmaker app. You have to connect with this SSID. So this name must be unique for each ESP32. With this sketch, I'm going to control the kitchen appliances. So I have given the name prop kitchen. You can give any other name. Accordingly, you can also change the pop which will act as a password for this service name. Then the device names must be unique across all the ESP32 otherwise it will create problem while controlling the appliances with voice command. So here you can see in the last device I have given the name exhaust fan and in the next case I have given the name only fan. Accordingly you have to make the device names unique for all the ESP32. After that you have to change the node name. So let me go to voice setup. In the voice setup you can see this is the node name. Here I have given the name kitchen node. Under this node this device will be added. So the node name again must be unique for each ESP32. And for the next sketch which I will use for the living room. Here you can see I have given the node name living room node so accordingly you have to update the node name according to your requirement only the name must be unique for each esp32 now after you make sure these three things are unique for each esp32 you can upload it to esp32 now for this project for the kitchen appliances i am going to disable the eep rom memory so i have made it false and for the living room i want the eep rom memory to be active so i have made it true then for the kitchen appliances i will use push button to control the appliances manually so i have made it false and for the living room i will use latch switch so i have made it true now after doing these changes, I will upload this code and I have already explained this code in my previous project. You can find the link in the description. Now to upload the first code, let me connect the ESP32 with the laptop. Then I will go to tools, select the board as ESP32 dev module. Just select the board ESP32, then select the ESP32 dev module. Then select the proper com port. Then in the partition scheme, select the Rainmaker. After modifying this, just click the upload button to upload the code. Now let me disconnect the ESP32 and connect the next ESP32. Now let me select the next sketch. Then I will upload the code to second ESP32. Now we will connect the first ESP32 with the Rainmaker app. So we will open the serial monitor. Then press and hold the boot button of the ESP32 for 10 seconds to trigger the factory reset. Now I will release it and here you will find factory reset trigger and at the last line we will get the URL for the QR code. I will just copy the link then I will open a browser then open the link. So now we have to scan this QR using Rainmaker app. So in mobile let me open the ESP Rainmaker app. You can download it from the Play Store or App Store. Before scanning, I have to turn on the Bluetooth and location. After that, I will tap on add device to scan the QR. Now this is our provisioning name. Let me tap on pair. Now here I have to enter the Wi-Fi details. Now I will just tap on join network. Then here I will enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Then tap on provisioning. Now here you can see the notification all the four device added i'll just tap on done so here you can see these are the four device for the kitchen node now let me disconnect this esp32 and connect the next esp32 so here you can see this is our next esp32 again i will open the serial monitor and before that make sure you have selected the correct com port now i have to press and hold the boot button for 10 seconds to trigger the factory reset now I will release it and here you can see factory reset trigger and at the end I got the URL for the QR. Let me copy this then in the browser let me open a new tab and paste it. Now I will scan this QR with the Rainmaker app. 
but before that let me restart the app let me close the app then reopen the app again you can also turn on and off the location and bluetooth if you face any issue now i will tap the plus icon to scan the qr this is our provisioning name now i will tap on pair now this time the wi-fi selected automatically i just have to enter the password now check this box save password tap on start and here you can see the blue led is glowing so the wi-fi details successfully sent to esp32 it may take one minute to complete the setup and here you can see we received a notification next four device added under living room so this is our first node kitchen node and this is the next node living room node here you can see i have connected the both esp32 with the circuit now let me turn on the supply and here you can see both the blue led turns on so esp32 is connected with the rainmaker so let me open the rainmaker app now from the app i can able to control the appliances here you can see now we will connect it with the google assistant and amazon alexa first we will connect it with the alexa so let me go to setting and from here select the voice service select amazon alexa tap on this link with amazon alexa you have to install the amazon alexa app then tap on link now we have to log in to our Rainmaker account from Amazon Alexa. So here you can see already linked with Amazon Alexa. So now if I go to Amazon Alexa app, I should see all the device added successfully. Now here you can see all the device added in the Amazon Alexa. Let me turn on the kitchen light. Here you can see. Now we will connect the Google Home with Rainmaker app. So let me go to Google Home. You have to install it from the Play Store. Then I will tap on this plus icon, select device, then link app or services. Then here I will search for Rainmaker. Tap on the Rainmaker. Again, you may have to log in. Tap on continue. Then I have to tap agree and continue. So here you can see all the device added successfully in the google home i will just close it going to the dashboard then under the all device you will get all the appliances so this is a very useful project if you face any issue let me know in the comment section and if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day